What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I have a highly anticipated video for you. Today we are doing my favorite purple nail polishes of all time. If you guys haven't been keeping up, I have been doing a series of my favorite nail polishes where I'm going through each color family and I'm sharing with you guys my favorites. And I'll link that playlist up here for anybody who's interested, but it's been a while since I filmed one of these videos. My favorite dark blue nail polishes video came out in October and at the time of filming this, it is now December, so it's been a a long time since I filmed one of these. And the reason is because I have been procrastinating doing my favorite purple nail polishes for a really long time. If you guys have been watching my channel for any length of time, you probably know that I am really into two things. One is galaxies and two is purple nail polish. Those are like my favorite things. So I have a lot of favorite purples and I was really stressed about like having to narrow it down. But you guys seem to be actually interested in seeing an unabridged favorite purple nail polishes that is extremely long. So that's what we're gonna do today. I went ahead and swatched 40 of my favorite nail polishes and that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. I know that that is a lot and I would never expect anybody to have this many polishes, like let alone this many purple nail polishes. 40 nail polishes to have in a collection is insane, but like having 40 favorite, 40 favorite purple nail, 40 favorite purple nail polishes is very extreme. I am aware of that. I would have narrowed it down, but you guys did not want me to. So that's why I'm just showing you all of these. And just a quick note, this is not all of the purple nail polishes that I own. These are only my favorites. So there are more purple nail polishes in my collection and there are more purple nail polishes out there in the world. These are just my favorites. So when I actually put these together, it ended up being that they're pretty much split down the middle between being creams and special finishes, which I think is kind of funny because usually I have a preference per color, like what type of finish I like. So like, for example, with oranges, I really prefer creams and with greens, like I really prefer shimmers or like glitters or something like that. So it's kind of funny that I really prefer like half and half because I do wear purple nail polish probably most often. I try my best not to because I know that like if I could, I would only wear these polishes, <laughs> but there are so many other great nail polishes in the world. So I really don't want to deprive my fingernails of them. But anyway, that's enough of the uh, asides. Let's just get started because this is going to be an extremely long video. I anticipate this is going to be a long video because it took me five hours to swatch all of these. So yeah, I'm thinking this is going to take a long time. So last quick disclaimer before we get started, there are two nail polishes that have been in my collection for years that I have considered to be favorites for a really long time that are purples. However, when I pulled them out of the drawer, I realized that they have turned pink. Very disappointed by it. They were some of my favorite nail polishes and that was China Glaze That's Shore Bright and China Glaze Lotus Begin. I do, however, have the salon perfect version of these colors. So that is what I'm going to be substituting in this favorites video. However, just know that these are two of my favorite purple nail polishes. I am just going to need to buy new bottles of them because I haven't used them in a while and I didn't realize that they turned pink. So with all that said, let's get started. This video is going to take forever. Okay, so my first favorite is Salon Perfect Cut to the Chase. So this is basically the Lotus Begin China Glaze color, but this is the Salon Perfect version. It's the same parent company, so I assume it is a very similar color. Basically, it's what I would call a neon pastel purple shade, and I know you guys don't like the way I say pastel. I'm only going to say it a few times in this video. Don't worry. It's almost like a, like a light pinky orchid kind of shade with these purple undertones to it, so it's really more of a pinky purple. I do love this one. I think it's so beautiful. It does dry to a semi-matte finish and I do need two coats for full opacity. I actually think that this formula is slightly better than China Glaze Lotus Begin. Over time they must have improved it or maybe just my bottle was really old, but I do really love this shade. I think it's so beautiful and I think it's like a perfect springtime color, so I really enjoy it. Next up we have Salon Perfect in Purple Pop and this is the similar dupe to China Glaze Highlight of My Summer, which is the other pinky nail polish that is sadly no longer purple. So this one is another super neon purple shade and this is again one with, that has like a really strong pinky undertone to it. Again, it does dry to that semi-matte finish and it does need two coats for full coverage. This is an absolutely gorgeous summer color. I love wearing these like purple neon shades. I think they're so interesting and I just think it's awesome in general that there is such a thing as purple neon because I just think this is really fun. It does make me look a little bit tan. I think it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. So moving on next up we have China Glaze 
Plurpole, <laughs> which is a name that I have never understood. Am I missing some kind of pun here? I'm not really sure. Either way, this is a really gorgeous purple nail polish, obviously, because we are in our favorites purple video. This is almost like the non-neon version of that pinky undertoned purple, and it's a really nice medium shade. It has a little bit of a jelly-like feel. It's a little on the sheer side, but it does end up being opaque in two coats. It's just really bright. It's really beautiful, and I think because it doesn't have that neon sort of highlighter quality to it, you can definitely wear this any time of year. Next up, we have a polish from Ice Cream Nails, and this is called Blackberry Mousse. This is a really beautiful pastel lavender shade, and it is a cream. This one is actually a cool-toned lavender, and it's almost a pastel neon, but I would definitely classify this as more of a pastel shade. I absolutely love using this one for nail art. This bottle in particular is super beat up because I use it all the time, specifically for gradients. I think Ice Cream Nails is great for gradient nail art, and I just think this color is so gorgeous. It's such a nice, beautiful, soft shade, and it's just great for nail art. Next up, we have another Ice Cream Nails polish. This one is called Grape Soda, and this is another one that I have used so much for nail art. It's another really beautiful, pinky, almost neon pastel orchid kind of shade, and I really love this one. It is very similar to China Glaze That Shore Bright, but this one is a little bit lighter, and I do think it's also a little bit pinker. So this is another one, again, like I said, I use this for nail art all the time. I use this for gradients all the time, and I think it's just a really beautiful shade. Next up, we have the shade Wisteria by Picture Polish, and this is another cool-toned lavender cream. So this one I absolutely love, just specifically because of that formula. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It does self-level, and I feel like that's very uncommon for a pastel shade like this. So it's so easy to use. It's so creamy and smooth, and I do get full coverage in two coats. Next up, we have a China Glaze shade. This one is called I Got a Blue Attitude, and despite the name, this is not a blue. This is a very cool toned purple cream shade. This is almost what I would call a blurple, which is kind of a mix between blue and purple. And in the bottle, I feel like you can definitely see a little bit of a blue shimmer, but it is not visible on the nails, which is actually a little bit unfortunate. But despite that, it is a really beautiful color. This one is actually really opaque, which I find very impressive for a China Glaze polish. I think this one is pretty much a one coater, but I do end up having to throw on two. And I just think the base of this color is so beautiful. Like this is the kind of purple nail polish that I absolutely love. I just think it's so gorgeous, and I love that sort of cool-toned, blurple kind of purple shade. Next up, we have Zoya Serenity, which is yet another cool-toned medium purple shade. Obviously, we're gonna get very repetitive in the descriptions here, just FYI, because there's 40 of them, and they're all very similar, and they're all the same color. I'm gonna try my best to describe them and highlight the sort of differences, and then, as usual, I am gonna show you guys a little collage of them at the end so you can see how they kind of compare with each other. This color is very beautiful. It is a cream shade and it does have that cool undertone to it. And this one's actually a little bit on the dustier side. So I really like this. I think this is a good like any time of year color. When you're working with really bright purples, it feels almost more of like a summer spring type of thing. But with dustier shades like this, I do think you can wear them any time of year. So this is another one that is opaque in two coats. Next up we have yet another ice cream nail shade. This one's actually relatively new to me. It is called Bad Berry. There's another word in there, which I'm not going to say. I will write the censored version in the swatch so you guys can see it, but I don't use curse words on my channel, so I'm going to avoid saying that one. So this is a really beautiful medium purple cream that almost has a little bit of like a neon tinge to it, and it has a very pinky undertone. This one is actually scented. I don't know what the scent is. I try to sniff it without like, like sniffing it, and I would say maybe it's like an artificial grape scent. It's not overpowering, and it's not anything I dislike, just so you guys Guys know that does exist in here, but it is a really beautiful color. And even though it's an ice cream nails polish and those ones I really tend to use a lot for nail art, I think this color looks so beautiful on its own as just a full manicure. And it does get two coats for full coverage. Next up we have China Glaze Mix and Mingle. And this is a very cool toned medium purple cream. And this one's really rich. Like it's almost like a sort of regal purple color. I think it is very gorgeous. It's a little bit on the darker side. So it's a good winter shade. On the first coat, it's it's like a little bit warm toned. I don't know. It, it feels like it pulls a little bit of like a pinky undertone to it, but as it becomes more opaque, it is cooler toned, which I think actually makes it really interesting for nail art. I think that's something you can definitely play around with. It is a three coater, which I don't love in nail polishes, but I do love using this one for nail art. And I do think it's really interesting how you can kind of mess with the opacity to see how cool toned you want it to be. So I just think that's a really fun way to use a polish. Next up, we have Zoya Chiara, which is another 
another really rich medium purple cream and this one does sit a little bit on the warmer side. This is another shade that I think is really great for winter because it's almost like this rich jewel tone and I think it is very gorgeous. It's slightly dusty and this one's actually one of my favorites because it is a one coater. By the way, just quick disclaimer <laughs> regarding my swatches, I did use direct lighting in these so it might kind of look based on the reflections that I am missing the sides of my nails. I promise you guys I am painting them and you can see when I kind of turn them but just because the light is hitting it it almost looks like that's like a bare patch on my nail so I know that bothers some of you guys and I am sorry. I am trying to figure out a solution for it but sometimes when I do these swatches and they're super reflective you can kind of see the lights coming through and it makes it look like I am missing the side of my nails which I, I'm totally not doing. But yeah overall this is a really gorgeous color. <laughs> Next up we have China Glaze Dawn of a New Rain which is yet another super rich medium toned purple cream and this one's actually a little bit on the warmer side. I feel like with a lot of purples it's almost a little bit harder to tell whether they are cool or warm toned unless they are very cool toned or very warm toned. I am just telling you guys based on how they look against my skin tone but they might pull a little bit cooler or warmer on you. This color in particular is another one coater which again is very impressive for China Glaze. This one's a little bit on the thicker side though so I really tend to use it a little bit more for nail art than for a full manicure but you can always smooth it out with some top coat and just make it look nice and even on your nails. Next up we have China Glaze Grape Pop. This obviously is a medium toned purple cream and this one is actually a little bit thinner. So this one is actually a one coater as well but because it's a thinner formula sometimes I do like to throw on a second because I, I want to feel like I have a full manicure on my nails and sometimes if I just do one thin coat I feel like it's not enough on my nails. So I do generally do two coats of this color but it is a one coater in terms of opacity so that does make it really useful. So that does make it really useful for nail art. Next up we have OPI Nice Set of Pipes. This one's actually relatively new to my collection but I really love it so I wanted to include it. It is a very dusty purple cream shade. This one is a little bit of like a dark dusty purple and I really love it. It's definitely cool toned. I absolutely love the OPI formula and I love their wide flat brush so this is one that I reach for pretty much all the time since I got it. I've already worn it so many times and I just think it's a really great winter shade. It's almost a one coater I do end up needing two coats for full opacity. Next up we have Zoya Vesper. This is another really dusty purple cream. This one's a little bit lighter than the last shade though. I think this is another super gorgeous shade for winter. I think this one is another almost one coater but I do end up doing two coats of it. But This is another one that you could definitely use for nail art but for me this is like the ideal winter shade. I think it's so beautiful. I think it's got that nice dusty quality but it's still like a beautiful rich purple. All right so moving on to the richer warmer tones. This is is Zoya Lydia and this is a very beautiful warm purple cream shade. It's almost like I feel like this is almost like an eggplant color so it's got that extremely warm undertone to it. It's almost like a wine winey purple color. This one's a little bit on the sheer side but when you do get full opacity which for me is three coats I think it's absolutely worth it because it's so rich and beautiful and I feel like this is such a good winter shade or a good just like elegant wear any time of year shade like if you want to just like I don't know feel really like elegant and classy but also like a little vampy. I absolutely love this. Next up we have OPI O oh Suzy Mio and this is another really rich warm purple cream shade and this is that OPI formula that I absolutely love once again and the amazing OPI brush. This is probably the purple that I reach for the most often during this season because I feel like it's just a classic dark purple shade. It is a two coater but I do absolutely love wearing it. I think it gets great opacity. I love the formula on this one and I don't know I just feel like it's like a nice basic purple cream to wear. So next up we have OPI Wanna Wrap. This is an even darker even warmer cream and this one is this one's like a real true eggplant color. It's so dark and vampy in low light it almost looks black on the nails and I think that is just so perfect for winter and like any sort of dark vampy kind of occasion or if you're just in that kind of mood. I feel like this is the perfect color for it. This one is another two coater. Next up we have China Glaze looking gorgeous and this this is another really warm purple cream shade. This one is very similar to the OPI shade but it's actually lighter so it doesn't have that sort of like looks black on the nails quality. So if you are into that color but you don't want it to look almost black on your nails in low lighting this is the perfect shade for you. This is another one that is a two coater. I just think it's such a really rich beautiful shade. I feel like this is another perfect winter color. Also these like sort of magenta shades I think are perfect for the fall. Alright so we have done the first half of the polishes. If you guys are 
are still here. I am very impressed. I know that was a lot of creams to get through. Now we're going to go through all of these special finishes. So like the shimmers, the glitters, the mattes, anything that is not a cream, that's what we're going to do now. These ones have a little bit more variation and they're a little bit more exciting. I do love them equally. So let's just get started with the second half of this video. So first up of these special shades, we have OPI Feel the Chemistry. And this is a really beautiful shimmery purple shade. This one is very warm toned. It has a copper shimmer that almost has a tiny bit of a duochrome effect into like a greenish shade. And it also has little tiny gold flecks in it. This one is absolutely gorgeous. This is a shade that I reach for all the time, but just so you guys know, it does not smell good. It smells very strong and it's not like a typical nail polish smell. It's like a weird nail polish smell. I don't really know how to describe it, but I have worn it for long amounts of time before and it, it doesn't damage my nails. It's just uncomfortable to paint with, but the color is so beautiful that I honestly use it all the time anyway. This is another two coater. Next up we have LA Colors in Blast and this one's actually another one that's relatively new to my collection. It's just a really beautiful warm purple jelly that is packed with scattered hollow glitters as well as a little bit of silver shimmer in it. And this one's actually opaque in two coats. I just find this one to be really impressive for being a drugstore nail polish and for being so inexpensive. I think it has such a good formula and it has such great quality and I really love that it's very holographic which I feel like is very hard to find in inexpensive nail polishes. But this is like a dollar store nail polish and it's so good. So I really love this one. Had to include it in the favorites. Next up we have Zoya Haven. This is a super warm toned purple shimmer and this one is such a rich jewel tone. I absolutely love it. It has these little tiny purple flecks in it too which I think really elevates it and this is just the kind of color that I absolutely love wearing matte. It's just so beautiful and shimmery and like elegant. I don't know. I just totally love it. This one is a two coater. Next up we have Zoya Giada which is a slightly cooler toned version of that purple shimmer. This is actually kind of like a warm purple base but it has this really cool toned purple shimmer running throughout it and it actually has like warmer purple flecks in it as well. Again just really elevates it. Another shade that I absolutely love to wear matte and this is another one that's a two coater. Next up we have a very special shade in my collection and that is Cirque Coronation. This is like a very limited nail polish so it's very coveted in my collection and it's just so absolutely beautiful so I really love it. It's like a cool toned purple that has a very intense red to green duochromatic shimmer in it and then it also has a scattered holographic fleck running throughout. It's a little bit on the sheer side but it is fully opaque in three coats and I don't know I just feel like this one is so I don't know if it's just the hype surrounding this polish but I love it so much. I, I really use it sparingly because I don't want to use up the bottle. I think it's just so beautiful. I think it's such an interesting and different color. So I don't know. I just really love it. Next up we have Zoya Savita. This is a matte velvet purple shade and that means it is a shimmer shade that dries down to a matte finish which gives it sort of a velvety effect. I do not wear top coat with this one or any of the matte velvet shades but this one in particular is so beautiful. It's like a very rich purpley shimmer and it has sort of like a coppery shimmer running throughout it as well which I think really elevates it and makes it super interesting. It's just another really gorgeous color. You can wear it shiny if you want to wear it with top coat but I never do because I think it looks so gorgeous matte. Next up we have another matte velvet shade. This is Sinful Colors Twisted Obsession. This is another one that's actually relatively new to my collection but I really love it because it is a matte velvet so it is like a shimmer that dries to a matte finish which I absolutely love and it's also a drugstore polish which means it is relatively inexpensive. However just so you guys know this was a collaboration with BB Rexa so it might not be available anymore but if you find this polish anywhere absolutely grab it. In fact grab five of them because you're gonna love it. This is like a purple that has a very strong silver shimmer running throughout it and again it does dry to that matte finish. I don't wear top coat with this one but you can if you like the way it looks shiny. For me I just love wearing it matte. This is another two coater for me. Sorry, so my camera just shut off because it said the maximum recording time was reached. So hopefully you guys heard my whole description of Twisted Obsession. But anyway, moving on to the next shade. This is OPI Turn On The Northern Lights. And this is another really special shade in my collection. It's like a blue purple jelly shade that has a multi-chromatic shimmer in it that goes from pink to gold to green. And I just think that's so interesting and different. And I feel like it really does look like the Northern Lights, like with that shimmer running throughout 
about it. I just think it's such a special and beautiful shade. I absolutely love wearing this one. It is another two coater and it's just a perfect any time of year color, but especially in the winter, I think it's so pretty. Next up we have China Glaze Sleeping Under the Stars. It's another like blue purple jelly that is packed with a shimmer that shifts from a pink duochrome into a green. And yeah, so it's, it's sort of like a little bit dustier and duskier. And this one's actually really amazing because it is a one coater. So I really do love wearing this one. Just another quick note, this one is another one that smells pretty funky. However, I have not had problems with it on my nails. It's just while I'm applying it, it's just super strong. Next up, we have China Glaze Glam Core, and this is a really gorgeous purple shimmer. It's like a dark, dusty, like blackened purple, and it has this really vibrant purple shimmer in it. And this is another one that's a one coater, so obviously I love it. I just feel like it's such a good, like vampy fall shade, but also a really great wintry shade. Obviously, I prefer to like go towards these like almost wintry purples as opposed to like the bright springy fun purples. <laughs> I don't know. This is just like the kind of colors that I steer towards. I don't know. I love them. Next up we have Starly Galaxy Gang. So I know you guys didn't think that I was going to do a favorite purples video without including my collaboration shades. Don't worry, we've got more of them coming. But yeah, this is a polish that I made in collaboration with Starly. And in addition to being super special to me, just because it was an amazing opportunity and I was also naming it after you guys, I call you my Galaxy Gang. And I don't know, I just love that about it. But aside from that, like objectively speaking, this is such a gorgeous purple shade. It's it's like a cool toned purple that has a really intense copper shimmer running throughout it as well as a little bit of subtle holographic fleck to it. I don't know. I just absolutely love it. I think it's so gorgeous. I think the formula is amazing. This is a one coder and I mean I love it. I'm biased but I love it. Next up we have Zoya Gardener and this is a really beautiful cool toned purple shade. It's almost like a blurple again and this one has gold and pink flecks in it which makes it just so unique and beautiful. Like I feel like this is like an enchanted fairy garden color. I don't know like if you were in an enchanted fairy garden I feel like this would be the color of all the flowers and then my hair would be the color of all like the leaves. I don't know. It's just a really beautiful color. It's a two coater and it has just a really nice shine to it so it's just a really gorgeous shade. Next up, next up we have Starly Stargazer. I know it's another collaboration shade, but like from an unbiased perspective, I feel like we can't deny that it's an amazing polish. I mean, I'm a biased perspective, but you guys are unbiased kind of, I don't know. This is like a very warm toned purple jelly that's absolutely packed to the brim with holographic glitters. It's just so colorful and bright and fun. And it's like almost like jewel tone to me. I think it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. It is a two coater, but because it's a jelly, like the more coats you apply, the more you'll get that sort of depth of the hollow glitter and make that hollow silver glitter look a little bit purpley. So I definitely don't mind this one being a two coater. Next up we have Sinful Colors in Let's Talk. And this one's actually brand new to my collection. I just got it this month, but I've already worn it twice and I already know it's gonna be a favorite. This is a very cool toned purple shimmer and it's just so intense. Like I wouldn't even know how to describe this. It's almost like, like a blue tinged purple. It's very cool toned and there's just something about it that is just so intense and shiny and bright. So far when I have worn it like people have just been like that is a crazy color like what are you wearing and it's this color it's fantastic it is a two coater and I absolutely love it so if you see it anywhere absolutely pick this up. I mean if you see it anywhere you're already gonna pick it up because it's gonna catch your eye because it's that bright and interesting and fun but yeah absolutely love it. Next up we have China Glaze Crown for Whatever. This is actually the shade that I'm wearing right now. It's a really beautiful cool toned purple that actually has a scattered fuchsia shimmer running throughout it. This one actually dries to a matte finish but this is surprisingly a color that I never wear matte. I absolutely love the way it looks shiny and I just think it looks so good with that fuchsia shimmer running throughout it. I just think it makes it such a beautiful shade and I love when colors do that where it's like a cool tone with a warm shimmer or a warm tone with a cool shimmer. I just think that makes them really special. This was a two coater for me, but you have to be a little bit more careful because it is that matte finish. You just want to make sure that you're applying it like carefully because matte polishes tend to be a little lumpier when they're drying. So you want to kind of go quickly. Next up we have Cirque Dusky Skies and this is another cool toned, almost like a blurbly purple that has a very intense fuchsia shimmer as well as little hollow micro glitter scattered throughout. And this is just 
just another really beautiful, vibrant shade. I think it's so beautiful. The shimmer in it is super intense, as opposed to the other one where it was more of like a very subtle shimmer. This is like the shimmer kind of overtakes the color and I absolutely love it. So it's just another really fun, beautiful shade. This is another two coater. Next up, we have another Cirque shade. This is Juicy Fruit. And this is actually from their winter collection from this year, but I couldn't resist adding it because I absolutely love it. It's another cool toned purple jelly. And this one is actually packed with different types of iridescent flakes in it. I just think this is so unique to my collection. I've never had a polish like this. If you like this color, you'll definitely like the rest of their collection, which I will link up in the cards. It's just absolutely beautiful. I think it's so much prettier in real life. So if you like the swatches, you're really going to like it in person. I just think it's so, I don't know, fun. You can really wear this any time of year. This is another two coater for me. If you have long nails, you might want to throw on a third because it is a jelly. Next up, we have Picture Polish Royal, which is actually a pretty soft purple shade. This one features a lot of little holographic flecks in it, as well as a little scattered holographic shimmer in it. It is very subtle, the holographic pigment in here. So it's really more of a silver unless you're in direct lighting, but it is a really beautiful color. I think it's so subtle and beautiful. You know, I'm, I'm so used to wearing these like really intense purples that this is like a nice softer purple and I think it really evens out my collection. This is another one that has two coats for full coverage. Absolutely amazing picture polish formula. I do love it. Next up we have Starly Saros and this is another one that was collaboration shade. I'm sorry I couldn't resist adding this one as well because this one is actually really special to me too. This one's a color shifting nail polish and both colors that it shifts in are purple so I had to include it. It starts off when it's cold as like a dark blurpley kind of purple shade and then when it's warm it shifts into like this pinky undertoned orchid shade so I absolutely love that and I love being able to wear both like a cool tone nail polish and a warm tone nail polish at the same time and this one also has like a duochromatic shimmer running throughout that shifts from copper to green so this one's actually a one coater but I do recommend doing it in two coats because the lighter shade I think looks a little bit better as a two coater quick disclaimer about thermals they do supposedly have a shelf life of six months but just so you guys know I have had this one for over a year and it's still working perfectly for me so take that as you will <laughs> and last but not least I can't believe we made it to the end is Starly Pegasus this is not a collaboration shade but this is a Starly shade that I absolutely love it is a purple foil and it's just so metallic and beautiful. I love all of their colorful foils. This one in particular is a two coater, but I still think it's absolutely fantastic. This is perfect for nail art. This is perfect for wearing on its own. If you think it's a little too intense, you can always wear it as a detail nail. You could wear this as a French tip. I feel like there's so many reasons to own this polish and any of the color foils that they've done so far. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I totally love it. Whew, okay, we made it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we did it. We just got through 40 nail polishes. This has been my longest swatch video ever and probably the longest video that's going to be on my channel. <laughs> if you guys managed to get through this whole video, congratulations. You are awesome. I am very impressed with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is wild. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my picks. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite. I will put my little graphic here of all 40 of them so you can screenshot it and you can, you know, decide which colors you want to get or if you hate them all, you can totally just look at the screenshot for reference. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for this video. Give a thumbs up if you are impressed that I managed to survive. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Usually my favorites videos are like in the 15, maybe 10 to 20 range. This is just a huge video because I do love purples. I also do other swatch and review videos. I do occasional makeup videos. I do a lot. So just check out my channel if you're interested. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Finally. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, fun fact. You guys actually asked me this a lot. I kind of thought it was obvious, but I guess it's not to any besides me but I always film with the same finger when I am filming my swatch and reviews and that is this finger this is my ring finger that's on my right hand I am a lefty um, but this is the nail that's like the longest on my nail like it's, I have the longest nail bed on that one so this is what I use in all of my close-ups this is the best nail on this hand <laughs> so yeah I don't know a lot of you guys have been asking that's the nail it's right here <laughs> all right I'll talk to you guys later bye 